Uh, as far as just when the game was over and you guys were able to get back and now that you've had some time, I mean, how would you assess the state of the team? I imagine guys are kind of sore or guys getting rested. Is, does the attitude feel different compared to last week? How would you describe it? Same week, you know. You just got to come back and work. Everybody knew, you know, it was going to be a tough game. They knew it was going to be a dog fight. It was going to be a brutal game, tough game. You know, guys going to be banged up, but we know that in our head, you know. But, you know, everybody was out there to practice, you know. Everybody came to practice. Everybody came with energy. And it was the same thing from last week, you know. I just feel like practice getting better every week. You know, we're taking steps every week. So, you know, that's what I'm looking I'm looking at at this team. How do you kind of keep that attention to detail, you know, going to this week, going into a uh, game when you're playing against Wake Forest? We treat every opponent the same, you know. I think this team, you got to keep it forced, you know. Every opponent, you know, has the same face. You know, we treat every opponent the same way. We, we prepare the same way. You know, we practice the same way. We watch film the same way. You know, we take nobody for granted. You know, everybody going to come in and play us tough. We know that. So, you know, we just... No opponent, no opponent got a face, you know, treat everybody the same and, and treat the preparation the same. What has this week four team done so well? How that they're now five and one on the year? They play good ball. That's all. You know, they playing at a high level, you know. And you know, they just playing they just playing with good attention, you know. We watch the film today, man. Their team, you know, they do everything right. You know, they they, they be in the right areas. They they be there to make the plays. And, you know, they just a fundamentally sound team. And they're they going to come to play you hard. And we just got to match their intensity. That's why they 5-1. You know, they're going to come to play hard. And they do everything right. Last year, of course, against Wake, you were starting off strong and, of course, came the hamstring injury. Um, I mean, do, do you think about that at all, saying, like, okay, now I finally get a chance to play a full game against them, or is that kind of been the furthest thing from your mind? No, nah, I haven't thought about that at all. You know, the game's for me. You know, put last year behind me, you know. It's another game for me, another game for this team to be exact, you know. So we're going to, we're going to treat it as another game. And, you know, I'm here, you know, healthy and ready to go. Do you know halfway him? through DeAndre's first season, where do you see him having made his biggest improvements, maybe in an area that isn't easily visible to us or the fans? I think really, you know, as a young quarterback, you know, you get more and more comfortable with this offense as you go during the season. And, you know, I can say that by playing as a freshman. I, I learned the offense as I went through the season. I think he's getting more and more comfortable back there. And you can see it, you know, he's just going through his progressions more, more smoother. And he's just communicating the message to the offense more. And that's why I think his confidence level was, was out the roof from the beginning of the season. But, you know, he's just a little more comfortable back there in the pocket. And, you know, he's just, he's just, he's just playing like it, man. He's playing like he's he a vet out there. As a friend and teammate, what's it like seeing Ermon make a chance for himself on the field working at safety? It's always good to see him back there making plays, you know. This type of play is, you know, just put him on the field and he's going to make a play for you. And that's what he's doing for this team. You know, he's going out there and he's making plays. And, you know, like like you seen on Saturday, just put him out there, he's going to make a play. And, you know, I'm happy for him, man. And, and he's a big part of this, this team right now. And, and we need him. So, you know, he's he playing some good football right now. Did you talk to him at all about potentially making that move before it happened, or did you know it was coming down? No, nah, I ain't know nothing about it. You know, he made it up in his mind, and he, and he went with it. So, you know, I'm happy for him. What was that practice like? Were you like, hey, man, what are you doing over there on that side? I ain't even notice he was over there until, you know, I seen him come down and make a play. Yeah, but I ain't no defense. So, you know, I was, I was kind of like, I was kind of shocked because just to send him a different number. I ain't never seen him without number one on him, so. You know, just send him a different number. It was kind of, it was kind of different. Um, you knew the, the, the kind of athlete that he was, and the kind of just the overall football player he was. So I mean, I'm sure you're you're not surprised he's having success there. Yeah, I played against him um, all through high school every year. So you know, he played defense in high school. So I knew what he could do on the defense side of the ball. You know, it doesn't matter just showing the coaches what he could do. And when you guys played in high school, was he a DB or was he somewhere else on the defensive end? But he did have to play on defense. No, he played in the secondary. There's everyone in the secondary, safety, corner, no matter you know. Best players are gonna play everyone, so that's what he did. Play everyone in secondary, offense and defense, and he made plays doing it. Now, when you guys went up against each other, were there ever like a one-on-one -on -one moment where you and him were going at it, or did that not ever happen? Yeah, well, man, I ain't played against each other. You know, I played defense. I stick my hand. I ain't stick me. It was just that's just how it went down. You know, the best players stick the best players. You know, that's just how it went. But I ain't know.
When you see the hits that DeAndre takes, especially these first six games, how much does it increase the respect level of him in your eyes? Well, DeAndre, DeAndre Ben gained my respect since, you know, since camp, since, since I seen him in the spring, you know. Just the, the stuff you could take from Jimbo, man. It's, it's so much a, a person could take. And, you know, he took it all, and, and he still taking it all every day. And to take it from Jimbo is just like taking a hit every day. Because, you know, coach come with it, man. And you got to be a tough guy and mentally strong to take what Coach Fisher can give to you. So, you know, when he take those hits in the game, you know, I think he's, I think he's more prepared for it. But, you know, we just got to do a, a better job of, of protecting him, man. But, you know. Dunder, you know, I got, I got, I got a lot of respect for him. How has he 